Hi, my name is Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my pet project, Stories from Cuba. Dr. Greymane often brought his son and daughter to the studio to assist him with the creatures. On one such occasion, J.J. McColl's first guest was Prince Robin. Before the show, Robin took notice of Dr. Greymane's daughter, Michelle. She was a curvy girl with a large bust that was presented perfectly in her v-neck blouse and her skinny jeans. Michelle had long dark brown hair that was tied into a ponytail and brown eyes with matching lipstick on her full lips. When Prince Robin was announced, he walked into the long purple curtains that hung on the set because he had seen Michelle reaching into a container for some small animal. He gave a decent interview with JJ talking about his newest movie, which was directed by Dorcas Anderson. Greetings from Grindelmeyer. It stars a new up-and-comer, Mike Maglio, the prince told the host. He is Lord Eric Smith's older brother, the CEO of Rain Inc., and a fine family man. Well, I look forward to seeing this new slasher movie, J.J. said, starring Mike Maglio and Sir Edmund Maverick in theaters this Sunday. Go see it, Prince Robin said to the crowd. Will you stick around for our next guest? J.J. asked the prince, who nodded appreciatively. Up next, Dr. Henry Greymane and some friends for us. When the white-haired veterinarian walked out, he was carrying a baby tapir, while Henry Jr. held the end of a leash of the tapir's mother. J.J. and Robin smiled widely. Dr. Greymane explained that these animals were a common pet among the magical community. They don't have any particular power other than being drawn to witches and wizards. Michelle walked out to take the small tapir and made eye contact with the twenty-something-year-old prince and winked. The next animal was one of the royal elephants, Prince Taj. He is an Asian elephant, and I hear that he is one of your father's favorite pachyderms. Is that right, your highness? Dr. Greymane asked the prince, uh, sputtered Robin, having been watching Michelle, who was standing next to Prince Taj. This is his favorite elephant, yes. At the end of the show, Prince Robin walked over to Michelle Greymane. Hey, it's Michelle, right? he asked. Why, yes, your highness, Michelle nodded at the neck. Please call me Robin, he said, kissing her hand. May I ask you if you're single? Yes, you may, Robin, Michelle blushed. I am single. May I take you on a royal date? he asked, smirking a little. A royal date? she asked, smiling more broadly. You know, elephant pulled carriage, picnic or dinner, maybe a movie or shooting billiards or something. The prince explained. That sounds lovely. Michelle's eyes were glazed over. Internally, she had never been more romanced quite like she was just now. Excellent. Robin kissed her hand again. Can I pick you up tomorrow at 7 o'clock? Yes, and we can do dinner as opposed to a picnic, she asked. It shall be done. The next night, Michelle had put on her favorite full-length black dress, which fades to blue at the bottom. She accentuated the dress with a dark blue jacket and box hat. She waited for the prince in the waiting room of her father's office. You look beautiful, my dear, her mother said from the hallway door. Thanks, Mom. A knock on the door meant that her date had arrived. Her mother opened the door to greet Prince Robin. Good evening, Your Highness. Good evening, Mrs. Greymane. Prince Robin was dressed in a dark blue three-piece suit. Please, call me Stella, she replied. You look nice, your highness. Thank you, Stella. Prince Robin kissed her hand and walked over the threshold to see Michelle. He paused, awestruck. You're beautiful, Michelle. So are you, Robin, she replied, feeling less nervous, nervous now. Shall we go? Uh, yeah. Robin said, my carriage is out in the parking lot. The pair said goodbye to Stella Greymane and walked through the fenced-in yard to the gated exit, passing by a pen with a black bear inside. He hurt his leg. My dad and brother are fixing him up, Michelle explained. Is he a nice bear? The prince asked. He's a show bear, actually, Michelle laughed. He's from Cuville Circus. His trainer has a really good habitat for him and takes him out frequently. Martin Andrews was really concerned. He loves his bear friend. 
Through the gate, Michelle seen the royal coach with an Asian elephant pulling the carriage. Two purple-clad coachmen were there as well. One sat on the bench and held the reins while the second stood at the open carriage door with his hand held out to help the lady into the open seats. This is so fancy, she said to the prince. Too much? he asked tentatively. No, it's good, Michelle smiled broadly. They rode to the highway on-ramp near Otterpole, as the highway was the easiest way to get anywhere from a different island. The prince made Michelle laugh a lot. He was quite a funny man, and she was just smitten. This elephant's name is Prince Taj because he is my father's favorite prince. Prince Taj trumpeted in reply. I think he agrees, Michelle laughed. The carriage stopped in front of Angelotti's place. There were a few other patrons, but it wasn't too busy. This is nice, Michelle commented. I love this restaurant, Prince Robin replied. They make a really tasty chicken cacciatore. Over dinner, they talked about their life's ambitions. You work with your dad, right? Robin asked. Sometimes, but I also work at It's Nick's James Bitch Cafe over in James Tower. Michelle said with a slight smirk. I've been in there. The prince responded pleasantly. I know the owner. Nick James, they said. Together. Really nice guy, Robin said. After dinner, they rode in a carriage to Q2 TV studio. They sat in the private royal box in the William Shakespeare Theater to watch the Piltrid players perform A Centaur's Wish, which was a play about a centaur named Julius who wanted to fly. Julius was played by Sheridan, who portrayed a centaur expertly. The program says that he spent a week in the Wart's Forest with a group of centaurs to get into character, the prince told Michelle. At the end of the show, Prince Robin guided Michelle to the backstage area, where he introduced her to Sheridan and his co-star, Sabrina Westcott, who played female centaur, Satyr. He introduced her to the director of the Pilchard Players, Roald Simmons. On the ride back to Otterpole, Robin and Michelle talked about extraterrestrials. My dad did some x-rays on an alien bird before, Michelle said. Did you know that all flamingos are aliens? My brother mentioned something about that, actually, Prince Robin replied. He said that he couldn't believe it, but every extraterrestrial he has asked has confirmed it. Flamingos are aliens. Yeah, Michelle said. My dad met Jawis Meacham at the television studio, and he said that the Anunnaki brought the flamingos to Earth a few hundred thousand years ago just because they liked them. I bet your dad was really interested in Jawis, the prince laughed, of that meeting a humanoid cat. He was, but who wouldn't be, Michelle said. It isn't every day that you see alien cat people. True, the prince said, nodding to her point. So, Michelle said, shall we go out again, your highness? I would like that very much, my lady, Prince Robin said with a flare. And then they kissed. From that point on, Prince Robin and Michelle Greymane felt a radical connection and knew that one day she would be a princess.